What's going on guys, this is Dexter here from Infected Gaming. Today's video is gonna be about the most important thing in the game, that is items. This video will mainly cover the defensive items and their advantages. We are gonna tell you which items are best in certain situations. So without further ado, let's get started. As you guys can see in the picture, the 6 items from the leftmost side are some basic defensive items which is no passive and all of them are pretty straightforward. Let's move on to the second column. The first item is Greaves of HP which provides 1000 HP and no passive. So let's move on to our second item. This is called Heart of Incubus which provides uh, 180 armor and it also has a passive which deals 50 magic damage to nearby enemies and creeps. Magic damage increases by 2 units per level, so if you are level 15, this defensive item would deal 50 plus 30 that is 80 magic damage to enemies and 160 magic damage to creeps. Please keep in mind guys, this would deal magic damage to not only the enemy you are attacking but to all the nearby enemies and creeps. The third item is Belt of Clarity which provides 110 magic defense and 700 HP. This item has a unique passive that restores 4% of your max HP within 2 seconds. This passive can only be triggered once after every 15 seconds. The fourth item is pretty straightforward, it's called Platinum Gauntlet which provides 10% cooldown and 110 armor. The fifth one is called Knight's Plate and it's one of the best tier 2 defensive items. It provides 210 armor, along with it, it reduces the attack speed by 30%. This is pretty great against heroes which are dependent on attack speed like marksmen, assassins like uh, Nakroth, etc. All the items we mentioned were tier 2 defensive items. Now let's move on to tier 3 items. Let's see what this first item, Asterion Buckler can do. It provides 1000 HP and provides 60 HP per 5 seconds. This item has a really strong passive. It increases attack damage of your nearby allies by 5% and decreases attack damage of nearby enemies by 10%. In my opinion, every support tank should build this item in the very beginning of the game. Now let's move on to our next item. This is one of the most underrated items, it provides 300 armor. 1200 HP and it also deflects physical damage taken to enemies as magic damage. This item should be built by warrior or tanks to counter fed ADCs and assassins. One of the best defensive items because of its versatility. You get 50 attack damage, 180 armor, 150 magic defense. Also when your HP drops below 40% this provides a shield that increases attack damage by 40. The only con of this item is the extra long cooldown of the passive. This item should be built by warriors such as Zephys, Xanus, etc. Now next one is definitely one of the most useless item in the game right now. It provides 60 attack damage and 1000 HP which sounds good but the passive is almost useless because we don't have heroes like Superman which can take advantages of it. So I won't recommend adding it to your build. Now let's move on to the next one. This one is like one of the best items, it provides 80 attack damage. 330 armor. Its passive helps the solo laner to create minion wave and jungle creep faster. In my opinion, all the solo laners like Xenial, Lobu should always build this item. Alright, now we move to the more defensive oriented items. This one provides 360 armor along with 1200 max HP. But that's not all. It also reduces the attack speed of nearby enemies by 30%. This is like a game changer in team fights. Only one or two player in a team should build this item. Because unique passives in the game don't stack, which means even if you are building Shield of the Lost two times, the attack speed will only be reduced by 30%. Now I don't know why people don't build this item on India server, it's one of the best items for mages and tanks. It provides 20% cooldown, 400 max mana and 360 armor. Its passive is similar to that of a Shield of the Lost, but it only reduces the attack speed of the attacker by 30% and movement speed by 15% for 3 seconds. Combining this with Shield of the Lost, this could be a very deadly combination against assassin and ADCs. This one is definitely a default item for support tanks, providing 180 magic defense, 110 HP and 5% movement speed. It also restores 8% HP over 2 seconds. This item is really good on champs like Tara, Lobu, Thale. Whenever you see a mage playing well in the enemy team, you should always opt for the medallion of Troy instead of Gaia standard. You should build Gaia standard only when you are playing against champs with regen abilities like Thale, Lobu, Tara, etc. Medallion of Troy provides 10% cooldown, 360 magic defense and 100 HP. That's not all. That's not all guys. You also get a shield that absorbs 300 magic attack which increases by 50 per level which means a level 15 champ will get 750 plus 300 
Magic Defensive Shield. This passive has a very short cooldown of 18 seconds. Crimson Banner or you can say Butterfly Armor, it provides 200 armor along with 1500 max HP. What makes this item OP on Butterfly is its passive. It restores 20% HP over 5 seconds after getting a kill or an assist. Its cooldown is also pretty short which is 10 seconds only. Hyoga's Edge is also known as Useless Edge. It provides 100 magic defense, 100 armor and 1200 max HP. It also increases movement speed by 10% and reduces target movement speed by 25% for 2 seconds. Sounds good on paper but doesn't work. There are better defensive items with better passive abilities. Just don't build this one. Now this one is the best suited on heroes with high mobility such as Zephyr, Snackroth etc. Tanks with dash abilities can also build this to escape the battlefield alive. It provides 1000 max HP and revives the champ up to 3 seconds of its death with 40% HP. Now this is the best defensive item in the game right now, providing 10% cooldown, 300 armor, 800 max HP, well this is not what makes this item OP. Its passive reduces the movement speed of enemy when hit by an auto attack after using an ability. If this doesn't sound OP to you then let me tell you its next passive. It also deals 150 physical damage and 20 physical damage per level which means a level 15 champ would deal 150 plus 300 that is 450 physical damage to an area. It is a very short cooldown of 3 seconds. All the melee warriors, assassins, ADCs like Violet which are dependent on ability should always build this item without any questions. This item is very expensive but it also provides 1700 HP and restores 100 HP every 5 seconds. That's not all guys, its unique passive increases healing taken by 20% which means if someone uses heal spell on you, you'll receive 20% more HP. There's one more passive which increases maximum HP by 10%. If a Thane or Tara builds this then it's almost impossible to kill them unless you have a Xanus. So that's all about the defensive item guys. Don't forget that the unique passive don't stack. Don't build two same items on a single hero and don't build Shield of the Lost on multiple champs in a single team. I forgot to mention one thing too. Like all the other MOBAs, cooldown reduction is capped at 40%. So it's pointless to build more than 40% cooldown reduction in a single build. I hope you guys learned something from this video and if you guys did, would really appreciate a thumbs up from you guys. Let me know in the comment section if I missed something in the video. And tell us if you want to cover us attack items or magic items. So that's all for today guys. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done that. 